Thank you, Norwich. Thank you for allowing me to come here to speak today. Now, my background is all my family were abused in state institutions. Now, as a little boy, they got me on record as in childcare even before I was born. You find children's records are redacted and, and altered to tell lies. The dates are altered and everything else. If you start, I'm going to tell you all about still goes on to this very, very day. If you think it was bad enough in state institution, the way we privatised everything to this very, very day is just as bad as yesterday. So you look at your politicians and your Westminster, I call Westminster West Monster, because the people ring of Westminster existed long and many years ago. As a cab driver in London, I remember Dolphin Square where politicians used to take children out of the children's homes and abuse those children. They, three children's bodies were found in Dolphin Quay in the Thames, where after they had watered well with them and the perverts had done their rituals and abuse on them, but some of it sounds funny, they discarded the children's bodies. Children's were used as pieces of meat. My sister's and my brother were all put in different children's homes. The fact that I was six years of age, I went before a juvenile court, and the judge looking down at this little six-year-old boy, and he said to this little boy, would you like to go to the seaside, sonny boy? Sorry about this guys, I'm just going to show you a picture and then you'll see for yourselves. Look at her in that little girl's eyes. You see this little girl that I'm showing you a picture of? That's my sister. All four of my family abused in state institutions. Police did nothing. Absolutely nothing. When I report my abuse to the police, they took me back in the Black Mariah and I was abused even more. Being told little boys like you get sent away. I want to find a picture of myself because if you look at me, we put it on the floor, guys, and I can sort it from now. So, this little boy that you see in this picture, look at the hurt in that little boy's eyes. That little boy is the guy standing in front of you today called Alan Merritt. That little boy was beaten within an inch of his life for speaking out about his abuse. Physically, sexually, mentally tortured. They used carbolic soap on us in the bathrooms. They stuck it in your mouth. They got floor scrubbing brushes and they scrubbed the skin off your back. They were interfering with you in the bathrooms. The bathrooms were the torture chambers. That little boy you see is Alan Merritt. That little boy didn't have a voice. The adult in me will and will carry on speaking out. My sister Marjorie, she was abused in state institutions. Look at the hurt in her eyes. You got my other sister Anne. Again, just leaving children's homes. They put us all in different cottages so we would never be a family ever again. How can you do that to children? How can you abuse... How can you abuse this little girl here, right, and deny her the right to be a woman who turned into this beautiful, beautiful woman, guys. This is my sister Margie. How can you take anything away from her? Deny her femaleness and the right to have her own changing space. How can you do that? Beautiful woman like that, how can you abuse them? You have to be absolutely sick in the head. This picture of me as a little boy, all them lost children, all them kids there are probably gone to their graves with no justice for being physically, sexually and mentally tortured, raped, abused. Look at their children. The guy in the background was one of the abusers. 
Mr. Whiteman, I got abused in the primary school. Between zero and six, I was in five children's homes. They called it respite care. Then when I was six, I went before a judge and put me in a children's home for another 11 years. You work that out, guys, that 17 years, this man, or this little boy here, was in institutions, abused in four cottages by different adults thinking they could abuse children. Make women's female faces female. And let all this nonstop we stop today stop. Save our children, everybody.